What's good is your boy JLG here back at you with another video and today I'm going to be bringing you guys the upcoming sneaker releases for the second half of the month of November. I'm going to be talking about, you know, what's exclusive, resale predictions and just an overall guide of what's coming up, what you got to look out for and a whole bunch more stuff. But before I do get into the video, I'm going to need you guys to go down below, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and with that out of the way, let's get into the video. First up on the 14th, we have all three of the Off-White Women's Track and Field shoes. These will be dropping for 190 US dollars, and there is some smaller profit to be made in the bigger sizes because this is a women's shoe, so men, unfortunately, if you've got a big size, you won't be able to pick up one for yourself. Uh, but really, I can see making 70 at the max, probably more around 40, and it will be a harder shoe to secure and to sell just because it is a track and field shoe and there's less people looking for those for personal use. Then the next day on the November 15th, we have the Jordan 1 Mid Fearless Melody Asani, I believe that's how you pronounce it, I'm not 100% sure. And that will be releasing and will be extremely profitable this sneaker. Especially with the low retail of only 130, there is a lot of room for profit. Uh, once again, the bigger sizes and smaller sizes will be doing the best because this is a women's shoe once again, guys. And pre-sale right now is crazy. I'm seeing bids of up to 550 US dollars. So definitely if you secure a pair of these, you will be doing very well. And then on the 16th, we have another big day with multiple crazy pairs of shoes dropping. Uh, we will be seeing the new Yeezy 380 Aliens, a whole new model in the Yeezy line. And personally, I think they're really fire. I'm definitely trying to get a personal pair. But resale for these right now is looking around 500 to 800, depending on the size. With sizes 9, uh, looking the most profitable so far. These will be dropping on Yeezy Supply. So let me know down below in the comment section if you would like me to make a whole separate video just on these. Because it's going to be crazy release and I cannot wait for it. So if you want a separate video, how to cop more info on these shoes, let me know in the comment section down below. And I will definitely make make it and do my best to get it out ASAP for you guys. Like I mentioned, we have multiple releases on the 5th, on the 16th, so on the same day we will be also seeing the Travis Scott Cactus Jack Air Force One, which is also looking extremely profitable, and there are a few good things about this release, and those are that the retail is considerably low at only 160 which makes all sizes very nice and juicy for the you resellers out there, I'm one of them myself. And the other thing is that even though these will be very limited, a lot of boutique stores and other online raffle sites will be getting these so you have a nice chance to spread out you know your your raffles and more chances to get the shoe like uh, stores that will be better getting these I know will be end SVD you know SNS and a lot more uh, once again for these I will make a separate video for you guys if you want to see it so if you do comment down below because I don't want to be making a whole separate video for a shoe and then you know, no one watches it. So if you want to see it, I'll definitely make it and get it out to you guys ASAP. But you got to comment down below right now if you want to see that. Then unfortunately, we don't have any more notable releases until a week later, uh, which is the Jordan 4 What The, which as far as resale is very small profit to be made, maybe $20 or so in size of seven to nine. But apart from that, unless you want a personal pair, which I wouldn't recommend sleeping on, this really isn't the best shoe to go for, especially because it's going to be decently hard to get. Like, I do see these selling out, so that's why I'm saying it's just not a great investment. I wouldn't be buying these for resale purposes, but don't sleep if you're trying to get a personal bear because I think they will sell out, I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that, but I think they'll sell out. On the same day, however, the Air Force One Peace Minusoni Paranoisy... What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. I apologize, because I know I definitely mispronounced that. But anyway, it's dropping on the 23rd, and pre-sale has been crazy on these. And when I say crazy, I mean crazy. Uh, I was seeing highs up to 1200 1200 US dollars on these. United States dollars. I live in Australia, so that's like probably like 1650 or something like that. Like something crazy, maybe even more, probably like, yeah, probably even more like 1700 or so for these. And now they're currently sitting around 800, so they have dipped, of course, it's going to be pre-sale, so it will go down when the shoe comes out, most likely. 
but you can expect huge profit on these if you manage to get your hands on a pair. Also, I forgot to mention earlier, I didn't do a separate one for this because it's not really going to apply to many of you guys, but there will be a Korea exclusive for this shoe, so if you happen to live in South Korea, then definitely, definitely, do whatever you Fly across from one city to another if you have to, because these shoes are going to be one of the most hyped up shoes and sort of, like the most profitable shoes of 2019. Like, they're going in the late 3000s, even 4000 I was seeing bids for at the moment. So it's going to be crazy, but that's a career exclusive. So if you can manage to get a pair, just do whatever it takes. I mean, just do whatever it takes, because there's going to be so much money to be made on the career exclusive pair. And then the last sneaker we have releasing on the 23rd is the Yeezy 500, but this is in the stone colorway. Not much to be really said about these, we've seen a lot of 500s, not really 500s, but Yeezys come out recently. None of them have really been doing well resale wise. You should be able to get your hands on a pair and there is small, small profit to be made in sizes 8 to 8.5. Even the smaller sizes we've seen with 500s in the past do tend to go off after a few months or so. But that would have to be a quite a long hold, probably even more than a few months actually, until you start to see a significant rise in the price of these small sizes. I'm talking like base size of six to like five to like six and a half or so. And um, if you don't have much capital, then I wouldn't recommend doing that because the retail is 200. Might be able to sell them for around 250 at the most in these in the size 8 to 8.5 that I mentioned. But I expect very similar prices to the soft visions that we saw earlier in the month. Not too crazy, but if you can get a pair and you got nothing else, you took L's on every other shoe, then might as well make some small profit. Moving forward to the 29th now, we have releasing the Nike Blazer Mid Vintage Slam Jam Class. And to be honest, I really do not like these at all. It just is not my personal style. And if I saw them at the outlet for even $40, I'd definitely pass like I wouldn't even buy these if someone gave them to me for free they just I just probably get rid of them I wouldn't even take them to be honest they are just uh, they're just not for me but however I must admit people are disagreeing with me because the resale on these is looking pretty nice uh, you know looking around 300 or so USD in the right size the 7 to 9 will be the best that is pre-sale though and I do expect these to dip when the shoe actually comes out Looking at some decent profit, maybe $100 or so, because the retail uh, is pretty nice for resellers in this one. But, not much to be said about that. It's going to be a hard shoe to cop, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we'll have some more info getting closer to the date. Then, finally for the month, we have released on the 30th of November, the Jordan 1 Mid Fearless Mason Chatu Rogue. And I definitely pronounced that incorrectly, I'm pretty sure. Definitely, I don't even know. Just tell me down below. Just don't mock me or something. But don't mind me. Just know that just like the last Jordan 1 mid I mentioned, these will be definitely very profitable. Uh, once again, the best size is to go for a 7 to 9. But yeah, just do whatever you can to secure these. And it's a Jordan 1 mid, so the retail is going to be very low, which is very nice for us resellers out there. Just increasing our profit margins. But that brings me to the end of all the sneakers releasing in the second half of November 2019 if you did enjoy it if you learned a few things got some info out of it you know just if I helped you out a bit make sure to let me know by commenting also while you're down there like the video subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell just so you're notified every single time I post another banger video and until next time guys peace I told myself if I go out then I'm gonna lie my wrist if I die today I'm happy for the life I live and my son is only three he be like mama rich told him